What did you do? Popcorn, are you having your babies? What's going on with your eyes? Kind of glued shut here. I don't know about this one. We have latch on. <laughs> That's a good sign. morning guys yeah another day with no lambs so I'm thinking a week of this and it's actually okay I mean it's not I'd rather be done but why I say it's okay is uh, this is a good chance for me to actually really keep an eye on these lambs make sure none go backwards this week's a bit warmer so we have a chance to like if we see any starting to get a little gaunt through their midriff section like in, in near their hips there, uh, then we can offer a bottle and if they drink a bottle, we know mom's not servicing them and we can get them trained on that machine before it gets cold. I think we've got about a week before the temps are supposed to drop off here. So this little reprieve might be actually a blessing in disguise because when it's cold and these lambs go backwards, they go they go quick because their body's trying to keep themselves warm plus if they're not getting enough food well you guys can do the math it doesn't it doesn't take long for a little baby lamb to uh, see the light other than that everyone's got kind of a nice bloom on them for lambs for babies that's kind of what you want to see just a nice nicely filled out you don't like them when they're kind of hunchy and thin through that midsection so That would be sweet. <laughs> I'll come in. I just got off the phone with Rex. Uh, we are already booking our uh, scan that has to take place here the week before Christmas so that's in two weeks for our uh, when will they be lambing my March group already and the other thing is Rex and I finally had a chit chat about the stillborns and uh, what the test result ended up coming back to be so it wasn't chlamydia which gave both Rex and I, uh, we both kind of sighed a breath of relief because we didn't want to have to revisit and figure out what a new program was going to look like. So the, vac the vaccine is working. Um, so that's good. What it ended up coming back as is coxiella, which is called Q fever. You can Google it, but the one thing, the first thing he told me was something that I was warned about when I first got into sheep is that Q fever is, is zoonotic and it can affect us as humans. Um, I know people that have had Q fever and uh, it's not fun. So he said, but I have to professionally tell you that there is a risk there. The thing about Q fever or Coxiella, we've always had low levels of it in, in every, almost every sample I've ever taken to a lab. So we, we already knew it was present in the flock. Um, but he said this is the first time that it came back as like smoking gun. This is exactly what it is. He said uh, the lab, the samples were really good. Like they were really well defined and sometimes they're not. Sometimes it's like it could be this, but it could be this and it could be this. And if you Google sheep diseases, you will see why I seem to have a lot because <laughs> there, there is a lot. Um, so the other thing we talked about was uh, vaccinating the flock for it. The problem with this vaccine is it's hard to get. Um, I don't think it's registered in, in Canada. I'm not sure about North America in general, but 
uh, you have to do you have to fill out some forms and apply for it i think we decided both too that some of these stillborns we don't think is related to the q fever maybe the early ones so we had a good chat as to like what do we think our numbers really are and again it's just it's not going to justify the cost of vaccinating this whole flock and the boosters every year after that so we decided to keep monitoring and uh and especially that we knew that we already had this but uh keep monitoring and uh react if we have to like we can revisit if if we have another bad early abortions in our next group then we will take animals to the lab we'll get them tested and see if that's the culprit again so um yeah that's all we know for now and uh it's just it's nice to know it's not something on my chlamydia um program because i actually start that next week with Willow's group. So I most definitely want to make sure it was right. Hi babies, you're gonna get a bigger pen. A bigger pen. Yeah. Here, look at your big pen. I think I do that over there. Well, it is the night check. I gave Carissa the night off because she's been here every night since lambing began. So um, I am in charge of feeding that little lamb. Uh, it drank this morning for me. I don't think it drank for Carissa. And then I decided to wait this afternoon and not feed it till tonight and see if it drank because it's only been drinking like once a day. So I'm hoping mom's feeling better and coming in her milk, but we'll it was on her really good right now, so I think it's pretty hungry. Look at these guys. Sinny, what are you doing? Hello, Nut. Where's Meg? Don't touch my camera, please. Don't touch my camera, please. Okay, you're thirsty. Hello.
morning guys. I was this close to shutting my alarm off this morning and just kind of lulling back to sleep. And it looks like maybe I could have, but I still have that one little lamb that I like to try to feed in the morning and at night. Popcorn, you're looking like you're getting close. Popcorn's in this group. Hey gorgeous. Lucy's not a morning dog. Hey, are you hungry? Oh, you're with mom. Hi. Do you want some milk? Oh, oh, oh. Do you want some milk? Okay, I'll go get you some. I'll go get you some. <laughs> you want some milk? Hi. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right, right away. Where did you come from, Willow? What did you do? Let's go, ladies. Back where you came from. Let's go, Willow. Go. Go. Guys, how'd you get out? Let's go. Where did you? Oh, you got that gate open. Oh. Little monster. Did you do that? guys are bad. All of ya. You. It's a good thing you're cute. Well, it is a good thing that I'm on uh, baby watch because I check my cameras probably neurotically every half hour or so. So these uh, you lambs somehow got that gate open. I'm always a bit scared that I got a, uh, a bag of pellets sitting, sitting open, but it doesn't look like we do. So thank goodness because that would be uh bad news i'm sure they'd go there first and then die of bloat the next day i'm just heading back here again to the cabin we're ship lapping the walls it's the first time we've ever used this stuff and we tried to whitewash it with a stain and water so mark's busy working on that and i'm basically just the girl that hands him the tools the barn is right here and our cabin is just right at the back of the farm so it's really nice i just keep checking my cameras and I can be in the barn in like three minutes. Hi. 
Hi. I have what you're looking for. Uh, okay. So the thing about this little lamb, um, I'm leaving it in this pen. Hey. I'm leaving it in this pen just because uh, Mama still has a little milk, so she's kind of keeping... I just call you a she. Oh, you are most definitely a he. Uh, that keeps him going through the day, so we're really only feeding him uh, in the morning and night, and I like to do that because to get, a, get him through the night and then to catch him if he's really hungry, but he's drinking less and less every day, so that's a good... Like, it's already... He's already just playing with the nipple. So, I think now it's just, we're just friends. You're just my alarm clock. You have become a very friendly mom. This one right here. Right there. Oh! She's very friendly. Hi! You just came to say hi to me? Hi! Listen, Lammies. You're very nice. Yous can be very nice when you start, like, hanging out with them, you know? They're not used to me being in the pen so much. So they become a little more, like, comfortable with the situation. Please don't trim my hair. Someone's on my back. Mm-hmm. Good morning. No, no. All right, not interested anymore. Now uh, he'll go find mom, mama. You and your cat, that's a good sign. Well, I wondered if Miss Popcorn would be approaching motherhood today. She's been backed off the feed bunk for the last hour, and she's been up and down. Popcorn? I think I might just take a look. I do remember last lambing, though, she was slow. I think I watched her for like four hours before she finally laid down and started lambing. Are you having your babies? She hasn't been pushing, but she hasn't been at the feed bunk, which we all know Popcorn's had her fair share of feed bunk time. Do I check you just to make sure there's not a backwards lamb? What would you like me to do? Hmm? Talk to me. She's hollowed out for her. Now I don't know what to do because she's chewing her cud. And usually if they're chewing their cud, they're not in labor. So I don't know. I might bring her up, check her out. If she's not dilated, I will leave her be. That's a good girl. You got it. You're kind of in the middle of both cycles, which is about par for the course with you. 
No one tells popcorn what to do. Yeah, that's right. You're very wide. Alright, let's see what you got going on here. No, just starting. Took me a bit to find her cervix. Oh. Soon, today. Today, my girl. Do you want to stay in here or do you want back out with the general population? There you go. Okay, that might have just stimulated her enough that she might actually start, the hormones might start kicking in now. <laughs> what are you saying? You gonna have a baby? It will be today, but I'm gonna let her walk around. You want back in here? Honestly, I couldn't pay any of you sheep to do this. Can you believe this? She's just like, she literally thinks she gave birth. You didn't, you didn't do anything yet. While I'm waiting for Miss Popcorn to lamb down there, I'm going to vaccinate my bottle babies and get them all ready to get put on creep feed. These guys have been on theirs for a couple days now and I figured it was time to uh, get on this. Hi, honey. Hello, buddy. It's the first lamb I think she's ever actually delivered all on her own. No assistance. How many you have then? You might have more. What's going on with your eyes? Kind of glued shut here. Yeah. What's going on with your eyeball? Oh. Buddy. Your eyeball is sewed shut. Oh, oh. there we go. This one too. Oh, they both are. Popcorn, what the heck? Hi. <laughs> Hello. I'm sorry I'm the first person you see. Oh, you're a boy. Hello, sweet thing. Oh, I've never seen that before. They were totally like pasted shut. I'm not your mom. She's right here. She's right there. Good girl, popcorn. <laughs> Another one in there, honey? The right? Oh, and it's coming the right way, Papa. You probably could have done this one by yourself. This is the best you've ever landed. Honestly. 
Hi, buddy. She is literally just... I don't know about this one. Are you alive, bud? I don't know if this one's alive. You alive? I don't think it's I almost could tell by the smell. It smelled kind of rotten. Ugh. Kind of stinks, popcorn. <laughs> you have another one? Come on. Literally the best she's ever lambed out right now. Oh, you're just going to be a single Pringle, sweetie. No, you don't need to. No. I'm sorry, honey. I know. You'll be such a good mom. Sorry, sweetie. <laughs> that lamb stinks. Right here, bud. You are going to be a big fat lamb because mama's got a lot of milk by the looks of her udder. Ow! I am curious. It's awfully watery. That's the only thing. Oh, there's a little bit of color to it. Twenty-four. You just made the cut. 22 is the uh, desired colostrum quality, according to Google. Let's milk you out. Save some money. So half off one side. This one too. Look at that. Isn't that the way? One lamb and copious amounts of milk. And that's been like my number one thing of not having this group. Four hundred mils popcorn. Way to go. All right, it is the night check. I did come later this afternoon to feed little mister and I wanted to save the rest for his night feeding. So we still have 150 mils to feed. I'm just warming that up for him. Have you gotten up, little bud? Mom, it's clean, I see, all over you. Have you gotten up? Popcorn, you're standing on this plate. Come on, I get off. You all right? Let's see. What you get? I want to see you stand. Come on, bud. There you go. Good. Did you find her better? Let me see you work. Good. Good. A little further. Okay, don't lean on my hand. Come on, on your feet. That's it. On your feet. That's it. It's just not a strong lamb at all. It's close though. Oh, Mom. I think we're on. We have latch on. Woohoo! Oh, that's a good sign.